Good morning, Webster Grove Statesmen, and welcome to your announcements for Thursday, March 11th. Let's start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As many of you may know, we recently we recently celebrated the 100th anniversary of women's suffrage, of women being able to vote. And today I want to talk about the role that high school girls played in this movement and the role that high schools played. Um, first, I want to read to you a poem that I found in a newspaper from 1901 from one of the St. Louis high schools. The high school girl. To the high school girl, I propose a toast. Be she junior or senior gay, she is the dearest thing this world can boast. In her charming, studious way, with her mind bent on Caesar, no mere man can please her. She's above such distractions, the girl of today. During the turn of the century from the 1800s to the 1900s, high schools were becoming more and more popular. And you can see from this chart of St. Louis high school graduates that most high school graduates were women. Not only were most of these women attending high school, high school classes were often taught by women and men were being exposed to educated women as well. So as the numbers of high school graduates, both men and women increased, so did the suffrage movement. And so you can see here on the left, a um, cartoon from one of the St. Louis high school newspapers talking about high school students standing up for votes for women. So next time you think about the uh, women's right to vote, remember that high school girls played a big part in this. First semester EOC testing is going on until tomorrow. You need to check your email to see if you need to take the EOC and when it is. If you did not receive an email, you will not need to take a test. Congratulations to Justin Barker and Erica McGee for being selected for the 2021 Missouri Scholar 100, a statewide program that honors 100 of Missouri's top academic students in the graduating class of 2021. Justin and Erica will be recognized by the Missouri Association of Secondary School Principals at a luncheon in Columbia, Missouri on April 25th. Congratulations, you two. Spring is coming and so are the annual Statesman Service Awards. We understand this year has not really allowed for a lot of in-person volunteer opportunities, so we've decided to decrease the minimum number of hours required to 25 instead of last year's 50. So now is the time to take full advantage of your generosity to others and submit your 25 plus volunteer hours so you can be honored for your awesomeness. Forms are due by March 18th, just before spring break, to Office 124. If you have any questions, contact Ms. Simonson or Mr. Thomas. Seniors, you'd need to submit your senior scholarship forms. The bit.ly link will be in the video description or you can follow the QR code. All of these forms are due by March 31st. Please contact Ms. Herb if you have any questions. And again, with the constant reminders, your self-screening procedure. We need to make sure you guys are doing this on a regular basis. Every day before you come to school, please fill out the self-screener and let us know how you're feeling. If you are feeling ill with any of the symptoms listed on the screen, please do not come to school that day. And that's it. Have a wonderful rest of your day, statesmen.